hello guys uh, on my last tutorial uh, i spoke about the lock list parameter and the max lock parameter uh, in this class i'm going to talk about the package cache the sort heap threshold and sort heap um, sort of list heap right okay so um, package cache what is a package cache actually i spoke about pack package cache in my first um, uh, tutorial the, um, the tutorial part one but again i'm going to uh, just again um, just do a small check on the package cache today as well uh, package cache is basically a memory area where your access plan uh, is stored uh, when you execute an sql query uh, basically every sql query will look into an access plan to how to access the data okay now for example um, uh, imagine this is a man and he wants to go this go to this particular destination okay now he can take this way on uh, the straight way or he can go like this right okay now uh, if the man is traveling to this particular destination for the first time uh, he has to do some uh, calculation he has to make some plan right and based on the plan uh, basically he's going to go to this particular place okay now similar way when you execute and query uh, the query has to access the data in a in certain ways for example if you have uh, indexes on the table okay or whether you have uh, done the update statistics uh, on the table or you've done a reorg on the table uh, based on those information um, uh, the query will access the data okay it will create uh, the access plan and uh, it will try to access the data whether it has to go through index or it has to go through a table scan those kind of things okay so it, it's very it's work very similar on our day-to-day -day life as well right we have to go to destination uh, basically have to calculate uh, which way we want to go okay and if this particular guy has to go to this de destination on a daily basis then he doesn't have to calculate right he can just uh, go in straight route ev on for every day so basically he um uh is he's like caching the data into his memory right so same thing happens on the uh, packet cache as well so if you're going to execute the query again and again it is just going to look at the package in the package cache and just execute the plan he doesn't have to recompile and uh, uh, make access plan and store it in the package cache okay so if uh, you're going to recompile the plan uh, it is going to uh, the execution of the query is going to take some time okay so uh, as like your database builds up and you have more queries coming into the database you might have to increase the uh, package uh, package cache memory otherwise like you know uh, it will overflow and uh, you might not get the required performance okay now um, one most important uh, another important thing to we should know is uh, for example now this uh, particular guy is taking this route every day now he has the package cache info uh, in access plan info in the package cache right now for s for some reason um, your data has changed a lot or you've done so much of deletion or you've done some changes in the application level right so then in the in those cases the package has to be recompiled okay so that you have the latest plan available on the uh, packet cache okay now for example like this man is going to this destination on a daily basis but suddenly there was some construction work going on in the middle of the road then basically he has to go uh, take a detour from this place to this place right so uh, basically your the query might not be that effective okay so make sure when you have a table you d you're doing a proper maintenance on the table you're doing proper run stats on the table okay and uh, app compile your applications okay so um, that's about the package cache okay so package cache is the memory where you store your access plan which will be used by the queries to access your data okay to keep everything up to date you basically we are doing uh, you should do maintenance like reorg and run, uh, run stats of the table okay so coming to the next parameter which is um, basically the sh short heap okay now uh, we have two parameters here sheep thresh shared and sh short heap okay now short heap threshold is nothing but the total memory available for all the shots 
okay so whatever short activity you're going to do on the database this is the overall limit of that sort okay and sort of is the per uh, application or per sort kind of thing okay there might be 10 application connected to database and 10 applications can be doing shorts right so sort of can be like you can take it as like per application basis um, sort memory available to each application for sorting okay but it cannot exceed the total uh, limit been specified here okay so if uh, what happens when your short member is exhausted or right uh, in those cases what will happen is yours whatever data you're trying to sort will overflow into the disk okay and anything on the disk is not good because it is going to impact your performance okay so and so there's some important factors regarding the sort uh, memory tuning for example if you want to uh, in minimize the use of sort heap um, make sure you have appropriate indexes created on the table okay this will minimize the use of short heap then uh, there are other things like hash joins uh, block index ending merge join uh, in 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 memory tables okay they use a lot of sort memory okay so if you have um, any kind of these things happening on your database make sure you increase this memory for sort heap okay then uh, uh, wherever you see large sorts where you see overflows okay again uh, it is recommended that you increase the uh, size of this sort heap okay and uh, whenever the uh, access plan is generated uh, when you run a sql okay the optimizer which creates the uh, plan it, it basically use sort heap size as an input to how we are going to access the plan okay apart from the run stat information available on the system catalog sort sort heap is also one more of the input parameter uh, which optimizer take into account when it creates the access plan okay now uh, when you change the sort heap uh, parameter to maybe increase or decrease the value make sure you rebind your applications after changing this parameter okay so uh, which means basically the optimizer will work according to the latest uh, changes to the sort heap okay but i hope you are clear with the package cache and the sort heap uh, on my next tutorial i will sp speak about the other parameters as well thanks a lot